Hey everyone, what's up? Today we're gonna play uh, some Chrono Trigger. So uh, hopefully without deleting my old save file because that would suck and I've done that before. Uh, we're gonna try and play, uh, start a new game here and uh, play some Chrono Trigger. Uh, I've only started playing this like a couple weeks ago and it's the first time I've ever played Chrono Trigger. I have Chrono Cross. I've never really played that much of that either. So I may play that sometime, but, um, uh, yep, that's what I want. Yep, I'm gonna play, they have an HD, or, a, not HD, but high resolution. It just kind of, um, smooths out the graphics. Honestly, I don't mind the original, so we're just gonna do that. And, uh, start the game. Okay, well, we're gonna name Chrono. Uh, it's kind of funny. So, Chrono Cross, it's C H R. O N O, but his name is just C R O N O, and I think it's only because you can only do f uh, five characters per character. <laughs> yes, that's correct. Well, looky there, there's a boat and seagulls. All them seagulls. Uh, so it is 1000 A.D. and they're having, uh, I guess they're. Their festival of a thousand years. <laughs> so, yeah, that's where the story starts. Not not like a huge grand opening or nothing. It's just, you know, pretty chill. <laughs> Chrono! Chrono! Chrono, are you still sleeping? Mom, why do you sound like that? I don't know. Come on, sleepyhead. It's time to get up. Uh, no, close it. Uh, dear me, I've forgotten how beautiful Lenny's hmm, Lenny's bell sounds. Lenny's, Lenny's. I don't know. It's the problem whenever you're reading off names and you go, "Oh, I wish somebody would actually just say it." You must have been so excited about the Millennial Fair that you couldn't sleep last night, could you? Well, you better not let the giddiness <laughs> get you into any trouble. I want you to behave yourself, young man! Mm, whatever, Mom. Come on now, get out of bed with you! Maybe he's dead, go check. Oh no, he's alive. He's just really lazy. Also, he slept in all of his clothes. My cat! Come back! I don't think there's anything you can check in this room. Oh, <laughs> I can close the curtains. Yeah, no, let's go back to bed. Oh, I can't go back to bed. All right, well, I guess I'll just open the curtains then. <laughs> that would've been funny. Just don't even start the story. Just say game over. It's about time. By the way, you're going to see... Oh dear, what was her name? The young, adventurous friend of yours. Uh, that's Bulma. I mean, uh, Luca. B-U-L-M-A? I probably... I could name her Bulma. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, okay. That's right, Luca. You're going to stop by and see her new invention at the fair, aren't you? Well, run along then. And be back before dinner. I'll be back when I'm back. But it'll definitely be around dinner because I'm hungry. Hi, little cat thing. I don't... I guess you're a cat. You're very strange looking. Oh, follows me around the house. Hehehe. Ha 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 ha. Give me cat. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's your allowance, dear. Have fun at the fair. Obtain 200G. Boy, I'm glad I talked to her. Otherwise, I would have been broke at the fair. I would have been a laughing stock of the whole fair. We can go break into other people's house and talk to them. That girl Luca was over in the square going on about how she made the discovery of a lifetime. That's pretty lifetime discovery like. Something tells me I'm as happy now as I'll ever be. Wait, but how happy are you? If you're not very happy, then uh, that sucks. You can go to the market. Uh. Visit our stall in Line Square. I'm gonna say Line. 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 I don't know. Oh gosh, there's a lot of people in the mayor's house. Hello, is this your first visit? 
Would you like me to tell you about this house? No, it's the mayor's house. I get it. I just don't understand why there's so many kids. Is that a save point? Scattered throughout the world are points where time's memory is deeply rooted. You can record the progress of your adventure as such place, at such places, fraught with danger as they may be. Cool, thanks. Get out of my way. Uh, oh, that's just a replica, but I recommend you save your progress whenever you find a real one. Seriously? They tend to show up in dangerous places. That, that's weird, though, for um, an RPG. Normally, whenever you find a safe place, like a safe spot, um, it will be in a place that's safe, you know, where you're not going to get attacked by enemies or nothing. But how this game's saying is that it's only in dangerous places. It's weird. Uh, also, I just stole 100 gold out of the <laughs> mayor's box. Want me to share some insight? Oh, yeah. Can I can tell you've got potential. You'll learn a number of skills or techs as you fight more battles. Yes, okay, well, I already know what that is. Techs, techs are basically your uh, skills, like your attack moves and stuff. Uh, you don't have magic in the beginning of the game. You do learn it later on, though, whenever you can start uh, traveling through time, which is this game's main gimmick. Uh, no, I don't need to stay here. But yeah, uh, time travel. That's that's this game's main thing. All right, we're gonna go in Linnea Square. And if I'm saying it wrong, I'm sorry, but you you get it right. <laughs> Today is the 1,000th anniversary of our kingdom's foundation. Enjoy the festivities. I surely would. Oh, I surely would if I were your age. Instead, I'm gonna stay here and fall over. All right. Well, we're here at the fair. These guys are racing. Um, one of them's a human. I guess this one might be too. But that one's a flipping alien or something, and a cat. But uh, I think you can bet on. Um, get away from me! I think you can bet on the race. I forget how though. Is it this guy? Uh, yeah. You want to try to guess the next winner? Yeah. Let me let me do it. Alright, fine. I don't want to do it. Let's just continue the story. I don't want to talk to nobody. Oh, look. It's that. Don't you run into me. I wonder if she will run into me. I'll just stand right here. Oh, she won't. So I do have to run into her. Okay, well, here we go. Oh, thunk. <laughs> Oof. Ugh. Ouch. Hey, the bell's going. I'm so sorry, are you okay? Technically, I ran into you. You were actually avoiding me. Uh-oh, my pendant. I'll find it. Wait. Oh, no, my pendant. Don't tell me I lost it. Wait, wait, wait. I bet you I know where it is. I bet you it's, it's right here. Here. Oh, thank goodness. My pendant. Pendant. <laughs> I know it doesn't look like much, but it has a lot of sentimental value. May I have it back? Uh, no. Yeah, you can have it back. I don't want to be a dastardly villain. Thank you. You must live in this town. I came to see the fair... Awfully boring wandering around alone, though, isn't it? Hey, why don't we walk around together for a while? Wouldn't that be great? Yeah, sure. Yahoo! <laughs> This'll be fun! Oh, I never told you my name, did I? It's, uh, mm, Marl! It's a lie! It's Marl, and you're... Chrono... What a nice name. I would say weird, but sure. Well, pleased to meet you, Chrono. Come on, let's enjoy the fair. Blah, 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 blah. Ha, ha, I have a follower. Oh, gosh. We're dancing. Yeah, that's it. Uh, okay, so there's a few things that we probably should do now. Um, because quite a bit later in the game... Well, I don't know if it's quite a bit later, but... Either way, later on in the game, we will end up... Uh, 
needing to have done things here because it'll make things easier. <laughs> Uh, like this little girl, her kitty is lost, so we're gonna go be a good guy and go and find her kitty cat, which is just right here. Come on, kitty. What? Did... What happened? Did I pick it up? I'm stuck! Uh, okay, I guess I picked the cat up. I swear in my previous playthrough, the cat followed me. Um, uh-oh. Where did the cat go? Oh no! Well, that's not good. I think the game broke. But uh, I think if I switch scenes and come back, it should be alright. I hope. Uh, Alright, here we are at this thing. I think we can, yeah, we can dance here for some reason. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait. Yeah, okay, that was a laugh. That's all that was. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Oh! Woo! There, there's that. And them spanking their butts. Alright, cool. Well, I don't care anymore. Let's uh, go back and see if we can get that kitty cat back. Kitty cat, kitty cat. Okay, there it is. Good. I don't know what happened last time. Uh, kitty. What? That It happened again, but the cat, like, ran off. Hmm. Hey, I found a vendor, and I can actually buy a bronze sword here that uh, would be better for Chrono. So I did cool thing is you can actually equip weapons at the uh, vendor, so you don't have to, like, open up your menu and everything. Oh, I don't want to talk to you no more. Wait, what? So this guy tried to get me to ask Marl to sell her pendant, and I accidentally hit the button saying, yeah, I'll try. Uh, I think I should have hit sorry basically telling him no uh, that's probably gonna bite me in the butt later on but <laughs> whatever all right I think I gotta talk to her again now I'm gonna go over to the cat the, see the problem is is uh, at some point chrono ends up on trial and they bring this stuff up so here kitty kitty where did the kitty cat what the heck is happening I swear, all I had to do was talk to the cat last time. Alright, you know what? Forget it. Let's go over here. Alright, she wants some cotton candy. We go over here. There we go. We sit here and wait. And then she thanks you for waiting. Okay, now we can go. Uh, step right up, any with the time and courage. Our first ever hyperdimensional transporter is the invention of the century. Simply hop up here, and you'll be teleported here. This fantastic machine is the masterwork of my beautiful, brilliant daughter, Luca. Balma, I mean Luca. Yeah, no, I was right the first time. Give it a try, kid. Oh, it's you, Chrono. Yeah. Hey, Luca. Chrono! I was wondering when you'd show up. No one wants to try my telepod. I mean, do you blame them, though? <laughs> Would you be so kind? Oh, this will be fun. I'll watch while you try it out. Yeah, I bet you would watch. Just jump on to the left telepad. Telepod? I don't know. Alright, here I am. Go ahead and fry me. <laughs> System activated! Why is he hammering it? Initiating energy transfer. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, phew! It worked! Oh, amazing! Oh, okay. Now I can move. That was pretty cool. I won't lie. So, how was it? Want to try again? No. <laughs> 
That looks like fun. I want to try it too. All right, go on. Hmm. Chrono, when did you manage to pick up a cutie like her? Yeah, <laughs> you know me. <laughs> it's all right, isn't it, Chrono? Just wait right here. Don't run off on me. Just take off as soon as she steps up there. Behold, ladies and gentlemen, as this vision of loveliness steps aboard the machine. Yep. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. You sure about this? There's still time to change your mind. Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm not afraid. <clears throat> All right, fine, whatever. I try to warn you. Our machine's a piece of crap, but okay, I have to hit it every time. All right, everyone, let's give her a great big hand when she teleports from the platform. <laughs> time to beat on it some more. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> Initiating energy transfer! Hmm. I wonder if uh, maybe perhaps that uh, pendant is going to cause a problem in the machine. Hmm. What's happening? My pendant! It's... Blah, 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 blah. Uh, my hammering! I can't hammer fast enough! Ah! <laughs> Uh-oh. That doesn't look like teleportation. That looks like, uh, perhaps, time travel. Bye bye. Ah. Cool. That happens to all of Chrono's girlfriends. <laughs> Luca, she's not reappearing. Uh, well, well, uh. All right, as you can see, the girl has vanished before your very eyes. Show's over, folks. Move along. <laughs> yeah, that was supposed to happen, right? <laughs> what just happened, Luca? Where is she? Say a one-liner. The way she disappeared, that couldn't have been a, the telepod. The way the rift appeared, and the way her pendant seemed to be reacting to it, something else must have caused it. One-liner, one-liner. Well, what are we supposed to do now? Is there any way we can help her? That girl's face was so familiar. Nah, no, there's not going to be a one-liner. I wanted her to say something like, she's been thrown into time now or something. I don't know. That's a dumb one-liner. But they didn't... I did better than them. They didn't even do one. I know. I've seen her somewhere. Like, looks like she just ran out of time. That's terrible. <laughs> There, I grabbed it. All right, teleport me. I'm ready. Chrono. Oh, you're gonna go after her. What a fine lad. You can also go down to the bottom. And you're like, you can't just leave her. You're not just gonna take off, are you? <laughs> it's the only way. I don't know where that hole leads, but we've got no other choice. Let's just hope it opens up again. Okay. Well, it's worth a shot. The pendant seems to be the key, so hang on to it, Chrono, and brace yourself. System activated! Bang, 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 bang! God. It's never good whenever you gotta smack on the thing to get it to go. That's all I'm saying. Boost the power output! Roger! I need more power! There, okay. Let's go! Time jumping. Wahoo! Oh god. That looks painful. Look at him. He's like, ah! Ah! <laughs> Good luck, Chrono. I'll follow you as soon as I figure out what went wrong. Or what went right. I don't know. Oh boy, look at that. There's some Mode 7 going on there. Oh yeah, this game originally was a uh, Super Nintendo game. For anybody who didn't know. Uh, it also had a port to the PlayStation 1 and the Nintendo DS. The one I'm playing right now, though, is actually the Steam version, so it was ported also onto Steam eventually. Uh-oh. Monsters. Uh-oh. Emperor Pilaf? Wait a minute. What is this? Dragon Ball? 
Uh, yeah, all the uh, artwork, I think, was uh, drawn slash inspired by uh, Akira Toriyama, the creator of Dragon Ball. So, if you see any uh, similarities, that would be why. So, right now, we have ended up in the past. I know it doesn't say that yet, because uh, we're not supposed to know that yet, but I already know that. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> uh, I think we are... Let's see... Uh, we're in the year 600 AD. So... It's like 400 years in the past. Open that chest. Power glove. Oh, wait. Let's equip the power glove. I think. Uh, gives us extra strength, yeah. Power glove. Sounds good to me. Alright. And uh, the cool thing about this game, since you don't have random uh, encounters, some enemies you can just walk by. You don't even have to fight them. I mean, I could probably get some extra experience off that, but we can always come back and fight them. Uh, if you stand still, it should... Well, okay, well, right now it says question mark because you're not supposed to know you're in the past. Uh, we can also save now. <laughs> Make sure not to save over that because I will be bummed. There we go. Cool. Um, yeah, so we are in the same place that we were before. The uh, festival is up here. Our house used to be around here, but it's not now. See, it's the true sin. So, uh, yeah, to figure out where we've ended up, we can go into the inn here. Everything kind of looks a little more medieval than it did before. Where are you, you say? You some sort of simpleton? <laughs> Even a half-wit should know this is the land of Gardia. Our kingdom wages war with the Fiend Lord's army, day and day and night, fighting to restore the realm's peace. Pray tell you knew that much, at least. Uh, yeah, of, of course. <laughs> then might you show the good grace to stop wandering and pestering folk with moronic questions? Dang. Ow. You're mean. You're mean, buddy. Hey there, feller that keeps drinking. He doesn't care. He doesn't want to talk to me. What about you two guys? Oh, praise be, they found Queen Lena, eh? Wandering up in the canyon. She'd been missing for so long, I feared the worst. She must be back at the castle by now. Oh yeah, I can move. Sometimes you can move whenever they're talking. It's pretty funny. I guess when they're not talking to you, necessarily. She must be back at the castle by now, getting some much-needed rest. Who's this guy? Hey, you stranger. Toma. You an outsider, too? The name's Toma. I'm an explorer, and if you can spare 10G to buy this round, I'll be a storyteller, too. What do you say? Buy him a drink. Another mug. Uh, okay, here we go. Cheers, friend. Well then, a promise is a promise. It's about the missing queen. My travels have taken me to the cathedral in the western wood. And there's something most peculiar about that place. It's only a hunch, but... Beg your pardon? They found Queen Lene in the canyon? Hmm. It seems my suspicions were misplaced. Or maybe they weren't. Uh, I don't need a room, so I'm going to leave. And in fact, I don't want to talk to none of these guys. Let us go into... Oh, we don't need to go that way either. Yet. Let's go into the Guardian Tower, or Forest. What the heck? Gardenia Forest. That's what I was getting at. Look at these guys. So that's one thing that's kind of cool. Uh, again, there's no random encounters. I mean, I guess that's a little random because they just jumped out at me, but, um... It's just neat that it doesn't take you into, like, a different battle scene. You just fight them right here on the map. That's pretty cool. That's, uh, that's different for the usual RPG. <laughs> <laughs> I love that expression that he has whenever you win. Hey, cool. And our level increased. So, we want to go up this way. Oh, no! Baldman! I don't know what these are called. 
detrimental to my health. That's what they're called. Ow. Rolling peas. Take that. My spin attack. My ultimate move. And hiya! Ow. Listen here. Bugger. Take that. And we win! There's another win under our belt. Keep getting potions too. <laughs> That's pretty lucky because I'm getting my butt kicked. Hey, there we go. The music in this game is really nice too. I like it a lot. Oh boy. This doesn't look very good. Luckily, they're all riding on those things, so it's not like I have six enemies to fight. I just have three, technically. <laughs> And now there's only one. Ha ha! Attack! Oh, he survived. Attack again! There we go. Yeah! <laughs> so we're gonna head our way up to the castle here. Gardenia Castle. Halt! Who goes there? I've not seen your face before, and those outlandish clothes. Wouldn't be one of the Fiend Lord's agents, would we? Ha! Fat chance! Look at him! That boy's not built to lift a sword, let alone serve as in the Fiend Lord's army. I'll have you know, I've killed many things on the way over here. I don't know if that'd be helping my case or not. Heh! <laughs> Suppose you're right. Now run along, boy, before we're forced to lock you up in the towers. Woman's voice. Stop it once! Stop that at once, my bad. <laughs> Queen Lene! Mm. That man is my friend! And you'll treat him as such. But your majesty, there's something strange about his look. Well, that's just rude. You refuse to re obey my orders? No, I... Forgive me, my lady. Please enter. Hee <laughs> hee. Eh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Please pardon us. We had no idea you were Her Majesty, Majesty's guest. Yeah, that's right. Don't forget it. I'm lucky. Chancellor. Hmm. <laughs> okay, bye. Chancellor. I am to understand you played some role in helping rescue my lady wife. <laughs> I owe you a debt of gratitude. Might you know what befell Linnea? She has been acting rather oddly since her return. As she seems to have lost the coral hairpin pin she always wore. She's always treasured that thing so. Forgive me, you must be tired. Please rest in the knight's quarters down the stairs to the left. I'll speak to the commander. Yeah, so we're gonna go do that real quick, because that's a save point. I'm stuck! Wait, wait, wait. There. Sheesh. Stuck on things. And he just shakes his head like, nah. He's like, nah, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we can go down here. At least I thought there was a save point down here. I guess I was wrong. Well, that's a bummer. I'm like, we could we could heal up here, but there's no point, because I've already healed. I checked on the other side, too, and there wasn't the uh, save point. We could always walk outside the castle and save, so it's not a big deal. We're going to go up here to the left first. Uh, there he is. The Chancellor. What are you doing, Chancellor? Hmm. Eh! What do you... What do you want? Be gone from here! Yeah, okay, shifty Chancellor. What's in here? What is this? People think the Chancellor's behavior is strange, but I don't find it troubling at all. The Chancellor is a man of strong faith. Why... Why he goes to... Why he goes to Man... Manolia Cathedral every day to pray? Oh. She wasn't asking why. <laughs> she goes, why he even goes, basically, is what she was doing. Manolia Cathedral, huh? Bronze armor. Nice. Equip that. Put that on, Chrono. 
There we go. Cool. Yeah, you say that, but he's over here just hanging out in the corner for some reason, being weird. Uh, oh, didn't go down far enough. <laughs> Her Majesty awaits you. Yeah, get out of my way. I gotta go talk to a queen. Cause I'm special. <laughs> it's been over ten years since Her Majesty first came to this castle, but she's scarce aged, aged a day. In fact, she looks even younger now than she did before her disappearance. You're the one who saved our queen. I'd, I'd expect one a bit more dashing. Oh, oh, that, that's hateful. Anyway, ah, there you are. Please leave us, peasants. <laughs> I need, I need to have words with this man in private. As you wish, your majesty. Yeah, especially you, talking about I'm not dashing. <laughs> Come nearer, don't be shy. Uh, I was like, do you actually mean come nearer? Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee. Fooled you, didn't I, Chrono? Mm hmm? It's me, but everyone keeps calling me Linne for some reason. Probably because you look like the actual queen. I'm glad you came. We... We were only together for that short time. At the fair, but somehow I knew you'd come for me. I, I mean, okay. I could have left. It really wasn't none of my business, I guess. It was more of, uh... It's more of Luca's business. I mean, she's the one that made the machine. Thank you, Chrono. Huh? What's happening? Uh, uh, everything went green. Oh, uh, exclamation point. I feel... I feel like I'm being torn apart. Ooh. Help me, Chrono. I'm scared. It's like I'm dying. Jeez. Please, Chrono, help. No! Uh, Marl. Well. I'm going to get blamed for that, so I'm going to leave. <laughs> uh, Her, Majesty Her Majesty's dismissed you already? You didn't engage in any untoward behavior, did you? Of course not. Let us hope that is the case. Yep. Uh, don't go in there for a while, okay? Hehe. <laughs> Hehe. Oh boy. I need to leave. I need to get out of here. Chrono! Who said that? Oh, it's Luca. Thank goodness. Wait, Luca. <laughs> Phew, you're okay. Did you find the girl? Yeah, about that. She what? She disappeared? More like she exploded. Hmm. It's just as I thought then. Okay, can you fill me in? I knew I recognized her from somewhere. We seem to be in Gardia, but it looks a lot older than the Gardia we're from. They must have mistaken that girl for her ancestor. After all, that girl was our princess. Nadia. <laughs> Nadia? Maybe it's Nadia. Marl, that is Princess Nadia, is a descendant of Queen Linne. 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 That sounds more like it. Okay. So, like, her great-grandma? <laughs> Queen Lene was kidnapped, and someone was supposed to have gone and saved her, but now history's been changed because they thought that they had her. ruh -ro. Emperor Pilaf, what are you doing? Why are you so blue? Marl looks so much like the Queen that they probably called off their search when she appeared, but... If the real queen is killed, 
he sticks his tongue out at us and they all die. Cool. Mm, back to you, you little jerk. Marl will never have existed, but there might still be enough time if we can save the Queen history as we know it should remain unchanged. I wonder what would have happened if we went back to our normal time after this. Probably be really messed up. Maybe the Fiend Lord would rule everything. Something must happen to the Queen in this era if she isn't rescued. And if something happens to her, her descendant, Prince Nadia... Yeah, Nadia... <laughs> ...will never come into being. Which technically means if she never came into being, technically, if this was like... ...real time travel stuff, then we would never have had a reason to come here, so we would have gotten kicked out of here and put back in our own place also. But, uh, it's a video game. I'll stop. <laughs> we have to find the real queen. Alright, let's go. Now I'm hanging out with Luca. Let's not talk to anybody. Let's just go. I don't want to get in trouble. Oh, boy. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to save here now. And uh, I think I'm going to end it here because the video is going to go on way too long if I don't. So that's our start to uh, Chrono Trigger. It's a pretty interesting start. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm digging it so far. I mean, I'm further than this, obviously, on my main profile, but, but even still, that doesn't change the fact that, uh, from what I've played of it, I've been having an absolute blast with the game. Um, <laughs> it's one of those games where I'm like, boy, I wish I had this one when I was a kid, but unfortunately, I never picked it up. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, gonna play some more Chrono Trigger here before too long, and, um, some Pokemon Red, and... Also, because it's October, going to have more spooky games. So yeah, if you like the video, go ahead and like and sub if you want to see some more of the stuff that I was talking about. <laughs> hey, stop that, Green Bean Man. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. So until then, bye bye <laughs>